Hello, Sherry here from fit to be Live, and today I want to talk to you about the recovery period after hardware removal surgery. I wanted mine removed because the site was tender where the hardware was, as well as I had some discomfort over the bridge of my foot when I walked. But it's a tough decision because really, you are healed at this point. You've already gone through the ordeal of breaking a bone, having surgery, and then the long process of the healing phase, and then the physiotherapy afterwards. So really, this is months of recovery. If you do choose to have the hardware removed, just know that the healing phase after hardware removal is really nothing like the healing phase after you break a bone and have the initial surgery. So my surgery was set for the afternoon and it was completely done by 5 p.m. So here I was back on the sofa for another day. <laughs> now I did need crutches that evening because I couldn't feel my leg. It's like having a foot that's asleep and trying to walk on it. So I wasn't going to be doing that and when I woke up in the morning um, I did try to walk. The surgeon said you can walk on it right away. I did try and no, that wasn't happening for me. Um, it was actually very very painful for the first 24 hours. So I did require some pain medication. Uh, I believe in the first 24 hours I was using the narcotic painkiller as well as an anti-inflammatory and some Tylenol. So that was just the first 24 hour period. And again, I don't want to scare you because really it was, it was very, very um, mild recovery time. Um, I do have a video on the hardware removal, which if you're watching this video, you've probably seen already, but if you haven't, you can take a look at it. Uh, and I also have my entire recovery story in this playlist as well, so I'll link that. By day three, I had a very simple bandage on it that they had sent me home with, and I was back on my feet. Now, of course, because I had this incision open again, I was not wanting to bend my ankle more than 90 degrees. So I was just being easy on it that way, but I could wait bare and it wasn't painful. Are you enjoying this video? I would encourage you to click on the subscribe button. One thing I wasn't expecting was the amount of bruising. And when I thought about it after the fact, it made complete sense that there would be bruising. You know, just the, the mechanical pressure of undoing the screws, and they've been in there for over a year at this point. The bruising subsided before the two week mark. And yes, they did put sutures in this time instead of staples. 11 days after the surgery, I went back to the hospital to have the sutures removed. When the nurse took the sutures out, she commented on how perfect they were, how little they were, and how nice and close they were together. Um, so they did a really good job on my incision, so I was really grateful for that. And then she just put these little waterproof tapes over the incision and these would fall off in the next three to five days. She told me I could shower as usual and just go about my normal routine again. So a few days later, yes, those tapes did start to come off and I was left with a very nice healing scar. The rest of the recovery was really quick. I was back to normal walking pretty much. I mean, it would ache if my leg was dangling. If I was sitting on a chair, I have very, very, very short legs. Um, my inseam is about 26 inches, so I am petiter than petite. <laughs> so if I'm sitting on a tall stool or even some normal chairs and my feet are dangling like a little five-year-old, um, blood would pool in my foot. Now mind you, if I could touch the floor, that would happen anyway, so I don't even know why I mentioned that, but only to say that that was about the only discomfort that I had. The only time I felt any repercussion was about four months later, we got so much snow and I decided that it would be a really good workout to just go out and walk in this deep snow. And when I say deep snow, it was up to mid thigh on me. And 
I know I've just told you how short my legs are. <laughs> but come on, mid-thigh is still mid-thigh. The snow was really deep and I just trudged through it. Um, I went a long way and it was a really, really good workout for both my ankle as well as cardiovascular. And then summer came. Now at this point, it had been two years since that original accident. Now I did go back and take the motorcycle safety course and I passed. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. When they came up to me and gave me that news after the test, I was just over the moon. That had been a long wait, so very, very satisfying. And I now have a class M2 license. I've got five years to take my exit exam and I'm just gonna be having fun with it. And just on the note of my scar, this is what it looks like today. So you would never know that they opened up the same incision again. I was really impressed with the work that they did. I want to thank all of you who watched my series, or even if you're just watching this one video, thank you so much for your support for my channel. It's just so nice to get messages from you, um, telling me of your experiences, your questions, and I will be doing a short video uh, just answering some of the questions that came in about my hardware removal. So look for that coming up next.